Tough times for the Bears. It is an outrage. Time is running short for Matt Nagy after another humiliating loss in Tampa Bay, and fans are now calling for him to be fired. Not at the end of the season, now. Is there no way we can get rid of him? Not without cause, Michael. I have cause. It is because I hate him. Well, head coach Matt Nagy did not come into work on Monday, and no, it's not because he was fired, but he tested positive for COVID-19 along with four players. So he will continue his head coaching duties remotely until he tests negative, twice 24 hours apart yeah um heard you were under the weather unfortunately uh this morning it came back at, that i was uh positive for covid so mm -hmm. i will not be in the building ask him his symptoms i'm on WebMD. what are your symptoms you know just uh not being efficient on on third down and mm -hmm. you know having those you know having those those sack fumbles and the problems go beyond just this one game for Matt Nagy. He is 31 and 24 overall as the head coach of the Chicago Bears. And that's not including his 0-2 record in the playoffs. For an offensive guru, the defense is what has carried this team during his time in Chicago. Plus, he's had lots of turnover. And I'm not referring to the five turnovers last weekend against the Bucks. In just four seasons, he's had two offensive coordinators three defensive coordinators, and five quarterbacks. Do the math, and there's one common denominator. And it appears that it's not a matter of if he'll be let go, it's more of when. The Bears have never fired a head coach midseason, but the schedule is not doing Nagy any favors. Many fans are speculating a change at head coach during the bye week. The Bears have two nationally televised games before then, with the Steelers on Monday Night Football November 9th and the Lions on Thanksgiving. All eyes will be on Nagy as the Bears look to build their future with Justin Fields under center as Nagy makes the most of working remotely this week as they prepare to take on the 49ers for Week 8.